What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have a lot to talk about as per usual. And yeah, before we get into the video, please make sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and all that good stuff. Let's close in on 6K subs today. I know you guys can do it. And yeah, man, we got a lot to talk about with the market as per usual. Like I said, make sure to drop a like sub and go follow my Twitter down below. And please, before we get into it, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yo, guys, today, something crazy has happened. If you guys do not remember, I made a video last night saying you guys should sell your cards. And some crazy stuff has been going on with all this like crazy nonsense going on. If you guys do not know, we have had the craziest market crash of all time. And if you guys take advantage of it, you will make a lot of MT. And in this video, I'm going to show you how much MT I made just off three cards alone. Never mind the other cards I've sold in the past. And yeah, we're going to go over it. We're going to go over it. We're going to tell you guys what the hell has been going on. And honestly, I have never seen the market this high since the Opals have dropped in decades. So we're going to go over everything. And I want to talk about it because I took advantage of it on Thursday night. I did drop a video for you guys telling you guys what you should do and how to make a lot of MT. So, yeah, we're going to go over it. Um, hold up one second. All right, yeah. So, it just starts off like this. So, if you guys do remember, a couple weeks ago, or maybe a week or two ago, when they dropped the Opal Packs with Tracy McGrady and whatnot, um, his prime, Tracy McGrady, went down 130 k And I ended up selling my Tracy McGrady prior to that for around 280 uh, I sold it on a Thursday about two weeks ago. Picked one up for 135 k on the dot. Ended up selling him for today for 248k so if you do the math i got them for 137 or 248 after the reduction i made 80,000 mt off one card that went for 135 kmt 135 kmt really isn't a lot i know a lot of you people that just started playing the game maybe it is a lot but if you've been playing this game since day one it's really not that much mt and if you did listen to me you made a lot of mt as well uh, another card that is really expensive. You guys remember Curry was going for around 180 to 190k. Picked him up for 185k. Sold him for 300k. I saw one sell him for a 400,000 MT earlier, and I don't know what's price now. We're gonna go over it, but yo, if you pretty much listen to my methods, picked up the cards on that Thursday night, Curry has actually dropped a little bit to around 245 to 265. So mine's gonna sell for 300. He's I'm gonna get 270k clean. I'm going to make around about 90 to 80, 80 to 90 K off this card after the reduction. That is insane. So all those two cards, if you guys remember in my video, I picked up Bosch for around 60 something thousand MT, sold him for 95 K. He's now up to around a hundred thousand MT. That's another 20 something K made. And in my video earlier, I sold a hundred thousand uh, Carmelo for a hundred thousand MT. I picked him up for around 80 something K made another quick 10 K profit. So if you do the math, I mean, 80K off here, let's say 80K off here, 160K, 20K off here. We made about 190,000 MT off four cards. Yes, obviously these cards are expensive, but still, if you did this with any other cards, like I'm straight up, if you did it with Zion, oh, we got a bit of, so my MT is almost up at 800,000 MT again. My team is looking pretty solid, but it just shows how much the market went up and how much my methods have worked. And also... It pretty much worked with a lot of cards. I'm going to show you a lot of cards. If you did not sell any of these cards, please make sure to sell. I have this Zion. He's back at 100,000 bit with 48 minutes left. There is no buy on him. I ended up getting mine for 82K. Ooh, that 100K one looks like a freaking snipe. Is there any shoes on it? Um, This 100K one, if you guys want to pick up, I might pick it up. I'm kind of tempted. But, yo, I got him for 82K. He ended up rising to 90 to 95 to now over 100,000 MT. This Zion, like I said, is a hype beast card. And honestly, with the market somewhat going down a little bit, like you saw a little drop in the market today, it makes me think, I think something crazy is coming this week. Um, if you notice the market 
like changing oh my god another player bro larry bird was at 80k i got him twice for 75k no joke i got him three no no i got him 3075k one time for 79k and one time for 89k I ended up selling all my larry birds for over a hundred thousand mt bro no joke for some reason all the flash super packs every player in the flash super packs if you invest in any of those cards they are literally like 30 to 50 percent more mt like they are so expensive now this larry is sold for 133 i've i waited on mine i have one left in my collection i got three of them for what two or something they're all under 79k I know that for a fact but yo he's actually this expensive so if you have any of these cards any flash super pack cards or any cards in general that you picked up during the market crash thursday night to prior to thursday night whatever thursday night was a huge crash because ybc young simba bio 2k a ton of people released videos saying that obo yas was coming everyone panicked to the auction like straight up everybody once uh my team did drop that tweet once they drop a tweet you never sell your cards after like i've learned that the hard way way back when when the first opals were coming on the flash set with opal jordan and vince if you sold your cards like on that week you literally got screwed so that's why the market did not crash friday not only that everyone sold their team thursday ripped packs for Giannis and didn't get Giannis. and now some people did get Giannis. that's why his price is dropping and that's why a lot of the cards are really expensive so Giannis sold for like a mil point one point one mil almost the other day it was on my twitter he's now down to 600 something lebron's gonna keep his value over 300 000 for a pretty long time until they do drop another good point guard but yeah this Giannis is really good so with that being said if you didn't sell your Giannis, it's honestly good for you because he's really one of the best point guards in the game. Honestly, nah. He is the best point guard in this game. He's almost unstoppable. But yeah, like literally, all I'm going to say is like, I just saw my team have for 200, what, what was it, 250K? 250,000 for a pink diamond Tracy McGrady. To be honest, bro, this Tracy McGrady here was literally at above, it was a little over uh, 350K not too long ago. I see this car dropping. He literally sold over 600,000 MT yesterday. Now he's back at around 500K. I see this car dropping, and I see the pink diamond one dropping because, bro, there's no way that, yeah, Tracy McGrady is probably going to be one of the best shooting guards in the game for a while, but they're going to have to drop another shooting guard soon. And honestly, with the value of 600,000 MT, comparing him to Roy and MJ is really not that big of a difference. Like, obviously it is. But I don't know, man. If you really want Tracy, I will go for the pink diamond. But then again, his pink diamond's too high too. And if you want to do that old prime set with Ray Allen, those cards are too expensive. If you really want to do that, it's not worth it. I don't even see Ray Allen being run anymore. But I don't know if I got lucky. But his cards only looks like it's going to sell for 170 If you listen to me earlier and did throw up your cards, it looks like it did pan out. Um, I don't know, man. But it's crazy. I feel like the market is slowly going down. And everything from the flashbacks has went up. Also, man... A lot of cards that were buyout, like 90-ish, 100K, have went up to bids. So, like, Chris Webber's a good example. Uh, I saw my Bosch for 95K. I guess that was kind of a W. But a lot of the cards, like Bosch, I mean, not Bosch. Aaron Gordon's almost going up back to a bid. We got the Chris Webber. Drazen Petrovic went up about 20,000 MT prior to his release. So, pretty much, man, it's looking like once you see a set price on a card and you see him drop and he's just 100K bid... They go down to 80,000 MT or 70,000 MT. It looks like an auto pickup from now on to make MT. But pretty much every card, like, I mean, every card was just so cheap. I literally made a video saying to you guys how you should just pick up every card you see. Like, I literally said, whatever you guys want to do during the market crash, you could pretty much make MT off nothing. You could make MT off the worst diamond card in the game. It's just because when the markets crash like that, it's just hectic, bro. Everything's popping up with snipes. There's just so much to do. And with that being said, it's literally that easy to make MT. Like, especially if you have at least 100,000 MT sitting there. On a market crash, you can turn that 100,000 to 150,000 to 200,000. The more MT you have is obviously the merrier. That's why I always say sell cards on a certain day. Because if you sell cards on a certain day, it's going to be a lot easier to make MT. It's honestly just one of the tips of mine. It's kind of common sense. Buy now, sell now, and buy back later. It's what YBC does. Shout out to him. He actually mentions that a lot. And yeah, that video, this video is really it. It's really all I got. It's just really some tips that I want to show out to you guys. Pretty much, bro, if I drop a video, try to be in the Nodi gang because if I do release a video saying sell cards now, market does take a little hit for my videos. Like, I'm not even going to say it doesn't. 
It's kind of sounds stupid because I only have 6k subs, but like really, it kind of does. And I've noticed it. Every time I release a method of MT method, it kind of goes around the 2k community. A lot of kids do use my methods. And honestly, I've destroyed a lot of MT methods myself. So just wanted to get that out to you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I did make a ton of MT and we're going to continue grinding. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.